Why Africa it still allowing people from all over the world? Why go to Africa to adopt a child? Why go to Africa to adopt a child? Our children find their identity in more than just their culture. Or the way they look. So in our family, first, our children's identity is found in that they are a son or daughter of the Most High. Their King. royalty. Second, they identify as part of our family. They are a Wilson. Third, if they want to identify as an African American or a Ghanaian American or Nigerian American, that's totally fine. They can yeah. totally identify as that. Each of our children are unique and they are so much more than just their cultural identity. We do keep our children's African culture alive. We've lived in the African culture, so our kids get to experience it. They are fully aware of where they came from and, and how we, beautiful it is. Yeah, it is amazing. It is beautiful. The people are wonderful, but it is no reason to leave an orphan in Africa. It's just not where God has called us. We are trusting that the Father is going to show us and reveal to us where our future children are. We're well, completely open to foster care. We're completely open to domestic adoption. We are just anywhere. open to adoption. We are open to bringing a child into our family. That being said, there is a greater need internationally than there is in America. And there are less people who are actually stepping into that space. Generally, Africans don't think that it's acceptable to adopt because their it's, own Because it's children. almost like frowned upon. Right. It's stigmatized. Which is the driving force and reason why the orphan crisis exists so greatly on the African continent. And the African continent makes up of over one third of all orphan statistics worldwide. I think that there is a significant amount of trauma that comes from having your biological parents die potentially in front of you and you being removed from a loving family and placed into a government institution such as an orphanage or a children's home. That trauma would be greater than the potential trauma that can be worked through with effort that they would receive by living in America. Yes, racism exists. People hate people. Which brings us right into our next reason. I completely reject this twisted notion that the color of the dirt that a person lives on or the color of the skin of the people around them is a determining factor into how they should live the rest of their life. It is common sense and promoted and backed by every psychological resource center on earth that a Functioning, healthy adult comes from a loving, caring, nurturing family. You still experience racism living on the African continent. We That's lived true. in the village. We know that the villagers were seen as less than mm -hmm. than the people living in the city. Yeah. They all had the same color skin. So perspectively, the conversation is the heart of man is deceitfully wicked. And we are just opening our family so that children can experience light love, and life in a inherently wicked and dark world. While living in Africa, I learned how to do their hair. I watched how the local women did it. You're not limited based on the way that you look, based on the color of your skin, or based on the way that you were raised. You are not limited in this day and age. You have a supercomputer in your hand right now. But you know what? It's okay, and it's worth it, because this is what God's called us to do, and he places each child into the specific family where he wants them. So we just do our best not to let the negativity, you know, affect us. We are knowingly putting ourselves online. Because we're choosing to be advocates for something greater than ourselves. If we can have one person be open to bringing an orphan into their home, then we have succeeded. Our adopted children are not our adopted children. They're just our kids. They're our children. They're just yeah. ours. So even with all of these reasons, we still hope that someone watching this video, whether you're white or not, will still choose to adopt from Africa or America or Russia, wherever, Ukraine, wherever Palestine, God is calling Israel. you. Let's go.